Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you how to use your phone here as your webcam on your Mac and PC. And it doesn't matter what phone you have. Let me set this down here. It actually works with every type of phone. I tested it with an Android phone, bigger iPhone, smaller iPhone, and it works the same way. So two things you gotta do in order to do this. One is you could buy one of these clamps that I bought. I'll put one of them, this one actually, in the description below this video. You could pick it up for Amazon for pretty cheap. It lets you place the camera or your phone exactly where you want it. And the reason why you want to use your phone is your phone is actually much better quality than the built-in camera. These really high-end Macs even don't have webcams that are more than 720p HD, which is not the highest resolution of HD. This phone is a 4K camera built into it. In fact, it has multiple different lenses on my iPhone. So it's a much better way to go using that as your webcam. So let me show you exactly how to set it up. And I should mention this works on all video conferencing platform from Zoom to WebEx to Google Meet to Microsoft Teams. It's the same way on all of them. Let me show you how to set it up. The first thing we need to do is on our Android or iPhone, we need to look up an app. The app is called Irium Webcam. And I really like it after testing out a few different apps. This works on Mac and PC, so it's really useful and it works on iPhone and Androids. So it doesn't matter what platform you're on. Go ahead and download this and go ahead and give it all the access that it's asking for. So I'm gonna say, let's go on here. And then it's saying, make sure the same app is running on your computer. So let me show you how to do it there and then they'll talk to each other and then we could use our video conferencing app to make sure this is our webcam. So the first step was getting the app on our phone. Now we're going to go to the same website and I'll put these links in the description below so you could just click them and come here. And if you have Windows, click this. If you have Mac, click this. So I'll click this here. I'll go ahead and install this application. It's pretty straightforward. And here, now my phone, my iPhone here, should be communicating with my computer. They're both on the same Wi-Fi here. So I just could make sure that kind of the height is right, that I'm center on the frame here, that when I look at the lens, everything looks good. I'm using the flash. I flipped the phone here and I'm using the flash to light me here. So I could turn that on or off if I want. So this is kind of before and after. If you don't have any front light, you could use this option. It's a little bit distracting because I'm looking right at the lens where the light is so if you do have front light that will be a little better i just don't have it in the setup so i might want to use the flash just to get the best look out of it but it, it does hurt my eyes a little bit since the lens and the flash on this phone are in the same spot but that is an option in the iphone app of this app here and now let me go ahead and launch a video conferencing app i'll just use zoom here to show you how to make sure this connects correctly to zoom so here inside of Zoom, I'm just gonna start a new meeting, but you could jump into any existing meeting here. Looks like this is my webcam. This is the camera I have on my webcam. But on the corner here, there's the camera option, select this, and you could see the new webcam. I could select this, and there you go. It's gonna switch over to my phone. I could go ahead and adjust this whichever I want. The height is right. This is another thing you could do because you usually look down at a laptop, for example. This brings the height to be more eye line. My background looks good and I'm all set. I could go ahead and start this Zoom meeting. They could hear me. I also use this microphone here. This is connected to my Zoom, so now I have the perfect setup. I have front light. I have a much better camera than the camera on my computers. I have a nice microphone, and I'm all set. Now, everything I mentioned, including the accessories and the apps, are in the description box right below this video, so they're easy to find, and it's really that easy to turn any phone into a HD webcam. I hope you found this useful. Please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.